Great. Folks, let me just take you through uh, IntelliJ downloads from the project to the project deployment. IntelliJ download, okay, download it here. Go with the community edition. It gets downloaded here. I got downloaded by here, folks. Very normal installation with a very normal installation. Install this. Folks, installation will be completed. You can run that here, IntelliJ here itself, and finish it, all right? Or you can open through the start, anything. I'm just asking you to run it right now. So you'll get this. Go to plugins. Go to plugins. Uh, if you if you see uh, Scala is already installed, not a problem. If Scala is not installed, okay, go here, type Scala. You'll get it installed. You'll get an install button. Install it, and the it, in the it would get restarted again. All right. If you find it as an installed, leave it. If you don't find it as an installed, kindly use it as a kindly uh, you I mean, install it by typing it Scala and install it, and then. Uh, you can restart your IntelliJ. Next, how to create a project? Go to the projects. All right. Here, create the new project. Create here as Spark First. All right. Click Maven here. You have to give Spark First here. There, yeah, click Maven here. Then go and let's get created. The project gets created. Once it is done, That's okay. Just warning. So, it gets loaded here. The next part is you'll get, if you maximize this, you'll get the source and ID. So, what I would suggest go to SRC. All right. Just rename, just go to main, rename this Java to Scala. Right click this, refactor. Wait, that it had, this has to get loaded. Let it load. This the indexing has to get complete. Let it done. Let it load, folks. Later on, right click this, refactor, rename it to scalar. Once it is done, create package. Right click the scalar, create package. Give us pack, P A C K. The package gets created here. Right click that package, give Scala. If you don't find any Scala things here, basically, now go to that project structure, right click this project structure, give add framework support, give Scala, click this, and give OK. If you don't see 2.11, you can give create, download. Here you can give the Scala versions which you want to download. I suggest 2.11 point, any version of 11 is OK. You can select and download it, but I already have it, so I'm just giving cancel. But you can download it if required. Then select 2.11.12, give OK. All right. The indexing will happen here at the bottom. You'll see, you'll see here. Once it is done, all right. Now click on stack. You'll see Scala class. All right. Now go give object. Click object, give OBJ. You have to click object and give OBJ. That gets created. So this is how, this is the first thing to discuss. Now what you have to do, give enter and here immediately, all right, immediately what I would suggest in this inside this object, give main method. Here itself create the main method. In the code which I give, consists of main method already. Take this main method, in the announcement group, you would find it. Give this main method and close the braces immediately. All right. So, object creation and main method. Once it is done, 
immediately go to file all right immediately go to file project structure artifacts add jar module with dependency then click this main method let this particular folder structure it will search and give this object back give okay give okay and okay that's it once it is done once it is done immediately go to build build artifacts now itself build artifacts all right artifacts will be built you can see the build status at the bottom That's it, build should have got completed by now. Then what you have to do, once you build the artifacts, go to project structure, go to modules, go to dependencies, and give add button. For Mac users, add button would be at the right side or at the bottom. Just give add button. Go to jars. Now go to the Spark where you install Spark. I think Spark would be in in my case, Spark exists in C drive. Sorry, D drive. Okay. I'll go to D drive in softwares. I have Spark. You have jars. Click the first one. Come down to the last. Give. Come down till the last of the four. Press shift in the in the laptop, in the keyboard, and click the last one. So everything gets selected. Give OK. This will add. So it may ask you regarding the pop-up. Just uncheck this pop-up. Just uncheck this pop-up. Give OK. That's it. And give OK. That's it. It gets completed. All right. Now, what I like to request, put the code here, check here. Take this first two lines, put it at the top. Take the code inside the main method because we already put the main method. Paste it here, done. Lab folks, take care of your lab username or cloud. All right, yeah. Let it, let it index here, indexing is in progress. Let it complete. It gets completed. Now again, go to build. Build artifacts. All right. That's build will happen at the bottom. Once a build is build is completed, folks, go to this folder. All right. If the folder structure would be here to get the jar. See, our users achieved this one. So go to that part. If you go to C drive, users achieve ideas project spark first it's not target go to out artifacts spark first underscore jar you have the jar here you have this jar here so you need to take this jar to the cloudera okay to log in through cloudera you can open winner cp give your ip address here give username password Host name, username, and password. Your Cloudera will open. In case if you are a lab user, okay. In case if you are a lab user, you have to give. This is your host name, g01itversity.com. This is your username. This is your password. Now, extremely come down and open this and paste this part first, so that the jar will be available here. Spark should have copied here. Spark first dot jar, then deploy it. Right? Spark submit hyphen hyphen class pack dot obj. Spark first dot jar. That's it. Trigger the process. Trigger the process. It would run and complete its work. That's it, folks. It has been done. 
the directory which we gave in IntelliJ or the code is user cloud and data, right? Let's go inside Hadoop FS hyphen user cloud. Just gives us and check whether we got the target. We got it. List this particular data right also. Add this particular part. That's it. Complete this deployment. Thank you.